So you've got a little bit of money and you want to do something with it, right? Besides stocks, bonds, and savings accounts, you really didn't have many options until the internet came along. Now there are thousands of them. One of the fastest growing ways is real estate, where you can buy a building, a small part of it, for just a few hundred dollars and people will actually pay you rent. It's basically the crowdfunding. Taylor Sundin with Great Waters Financial says it's a perfectly legit way to make money. You don't have to be a landlord, you don't have to manage the projects. And you don't need millions of dollars. They're called REITs. A REIT stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. They're sort of like stocks, but instead of buying shares in a company on the stock exchange, you're buying pieces of property, apartment buildings, strip malls, business complexes, you name it. For example, our building right here is held by a REIT. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some REITs only have one building in them, others have huge portfolios with thousands. So you can really spread out your money. You can buy them on the exchange, just like going on and buying any other stock out there. Or you can use an app. Two of the most popular are Realty Mogul and Funrise. They each have more than a billion dollars worth of property you can invest in, and they're both fairly inexpensive to get started. With Funrise, you can get started for only $500. With Realty Mogul, it's $5,000, but you have more choices with your money. There's absolutely some legitimacy with them. Sandin says both have great track records but have only been around for a few years and over those few years the market has been great. So if the market tanks like it did in 08 he says we really don't have enough information to know what that would do to your money. Only using five, six, seven years worth of performance can be risky. Just how much risk you're willing to take is up to you. Sandin says bottom line, do your research, know where your money is going, and what they're charging you for fees. Just like with any other investment, you have to do your homework. Gordon Severson, Carol 11 News.